Well, it is no easy task to try and climb the ladder in NASCAR, especially when you're a team owner. And usually when you add more teams to your garage, it negatively impacts the teams that you already have. But that's not really been the case for Colleague Racing, who's not only adding drivers to their roster this season, they're going cup racing full time. New car, new series, same goal. For NASCAR's newest Cup Series team, it's all about this. Bailey crosses the finish line and wins. Roman Digger will cross the yard of bricks, the winner of the first ever road course race for the Cup Series. <laughs> Let's go! College racing has made quite the name for themselves. In just six seasons, they've brought home 15 career wins, with eight of those coming in the 2021 season. The winning standard is set, but this season they're accelerating into uncharted territory with two full-time teams in the Cup Series, a goal that's been in motion for quite some time. We've been dabbling in it and kind of getting prepared to be full-time, you know, for a couple of years now. So um, we feel like we've done a really good job in the Xfinity Series and, and want to continue to do that. But, um, you know, very, very, very exciting times for our drivers and our team. One of those drivers, Justin Haley, makes his mark in history, becoming the first full-time driver in the Cup Series for Colleague, a moment he's waited for since he was nine years old. Exciting, but it's also a little nerve-wracking, right? Um, being the first full-time driver, obviously Colleague's had a lot of success in the Cup Series already. Been a small part of that, been a large part of the Xfinity. They actually gave me my big break three years ago to get into the Xfinity Series. I don't think I'd want to you know, start my rookie season with anyone else. Colleague's driver lineup now consists of three of the championship four Xfinity drivers from 2021. A.J. Allmendinger, along with Daniel Hemrick and Noah Gragston, who were added this offseason, will split duties driving the 16. Despite the success the team has had in Xfinity, they know the challenges that await them at the next level. We're going to have all the tools that we need. Now, with that said, I mean, it's the Cup Series. It's the best of the best. You don't just go in there, even if it is a brand-new car, and just feel like you're going to go out there and, and compete. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of ups and downs. And where those downs are, that's where the unique culture at college comes in. It's a, a the perfect mix to me of going out there and being business. When we're at the racetrack, we're there to win. But away from that, and even at the racetrack at times, the fun side of it, uh, the friendship side of it, the family atmosphere, especially for, for where I'm at in my career. I mean, it, if it's not fun, then there's no reason for me to do it. Matt Colleague owns everything. He owns every car. He's the leader. He's the motivator. Obviously, there's Chris Rice in there who, who manages it all. We want to be competitive, right? So you hire the people to make you be competitive and the great people. But at the same time, we work really, really hard at making sure that we have fun. You know, when people see that at the racetrack, they want to be a part of that. And I think that's what we're seeing at Colleague Racing. So many unknowns lie ahead as they get into their rookie season, but they'll continue to vie for victory lane. And that starts in Daytona, where Haley has four wins. Um, one in a cup car in, in the summer race and, and three in an Xfinity car. So um, I've always had pretty good odds down Daytona. I ran one 500 with colleague. Um, I think we finished 13th, which was their first ever cup start in general. So I, I think it's great. You know, sometimes even in life, it's like, hey, ready or not, here we come. Sometimes you just have to embrace change, and uh, and that's what we've done, and that's what all the teams have done. And with the addition of the next-gen car this season, Justin Haley told me that that adds even more enticement to that first official race down in Daytona because every driver, no matter the team, wants to make history and be the first to win in the new car.